CQ, CQ. This is W9GFO. Is anybody out there? Yeah. Many of the people need to see what I've seen. They need to see. This is the way it's been done for billions of years. Small moves out. This is going to be really intense for me for several reasons. For one, we're going back to Newcraft if I can find it. I wish this had a different, uh, we could choose fonts. Um, bright white on black is on really dark, it's hard for me. I'm in 1.8, oh, 0.3 with Optifine. Um, the world is in like 1.6 or 7 something, so I don't know what's going to happen when I do this. But we're going back to the first world that I started when I started my YouTube channel. This is Noobcraft. Uh, it's going to take a while too. I've wanted to build an adventure map. about Native American folk. Oh my gosh. Okay, options. Over to land. Allow cheats. Oh my gosh. Start land world. Uh, uh, G-A-M-E-M-O-D-E. -M -E. One. Oh, where's the one? Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, hi. This is the tree. So now I do know where I am. See, I didn't even know where I'd log in. Uh-oh. We have a problem. It's so laggy that, um... Options... No, I don't want it on hard. Peaceful. Easy. Uh, uh... Music and... Oh, wait a minute. Music and sounds need to be really low. And video needs to be... Yeah, eight's fine. Why was that set to hard? Oh, you know why? Because uh, I was... Probably because the last time I was on single player... Yeah, here's the tree, guys. Uh, I'm not gonna cry. Okay, maybe a little. Somebody got me a schematic to the tree. We won't discuss who or how or where. And I made a copy of it here and also on my no longer existing server oh I miss that server you guys are doing such great work so it looks a little funny because the um, height on that created plot world the ground height was 30 and of course uh, standard Minecraft is 64 so I'm trying to fly there you go what it is is I'm hitting the space bar too fast so yeah here's the tree people at least it's one iteration of it I don't remember if it has all the volunteers listed up at the top it looks like the uh, micro blocks translated without any special plugins or anything so it looks like if you can access Microblox, yeah. The heads are funny. I don't know if they all are. But if you can access Microblox by some other means, I have to find out what that is. You can place them. Yeah, you can. On um, Vanilla Worlds. Yeah, there's people's player heads. Okay, now I have to find my way back. Don't press space too fast. One interesting thing is all the heads are pointed in one direction. One, two, three. Whoops. I am facing east. So they all, that's interesting, all the heads are facing west. Hmm, I wonder why. One of those Minecrafty things. Okay, and there's the uh, garden for my daughter. Oh, good, the water bucket came back. On another world, it wasn't the water bucket anymore. I need to get away from this tree. Um, 
I said I'm facing east, is that correct? One, two, three. Yeah, so we need to get oriented. Okay, so as you may or may not know, oh, my cat wants to get off the bed. Hello, cat. Oh, God. Ugh. Her name is Fatty Wetty Kitty Getty. There's a reason why. She's a big cat. She's not really fat, but she's really big. Minecraft was a gift. I don't play games because I don't have what's called disposable income. I should be heading toward a desert, so I may be pointed the wrong way. Yeah, I'm going toward the jungle, aren't I? Wait, here's desert, or here's sand. This is a problem with having it on the render distance on 8, but I don't really see any way around it. That looks like I've planted a pumpkin for a guide marker. Oh, this is one of those things where you take a tree and you um, cover it with lava and then pour water over it and it makes these weird structures. So I must have been experimenting with one of those out here because I used some of those with my... Um, in the village that I was building in the desert that I'm going to follow the river and see what happens. These are pigs. I can't tell pigs from pumpkins. Uh, let's see, where was I? Okay, I don't buy games. Look, that's freshly growing sugar cane. I may be going the wrong way then. This may be freshly generating sugar cane. Uh, yeah, no. Well, that's two blocks. Well, there's me. I've been here. Which way is the head facing? The head's facing this way. I'm going the right direction. I use jack-o'-lanterns so I can find my way around. Uh, they also float, they also go underwater, and they're much larger than torches, so I can actually see them from pretty great games. Distances. I played only games that were online flash games, things like that, because they were free. Yeah, they came with ads, and sometimes they were problematic because they would put junk on my computer that I didn't want on my computer and stuff. But they were free. It was the only games I could a play. A friend insisted on buying me Minecraft. This was back before Jungle, so pretty early in the game. It wasn't in beta She anymore. insisted on buying it for me. Now, once I got used to the aesthetic of the game, because at first she said, Isn't it beautiful? And I'm like, No. It's really pretty ugly. But once I got used to the aesthetic of the cubes, um, I got real into the game. And I got real into creative, partly because I have PTSD and the um, game sounds and the startle effects were making me kind of sick. So creative worlds and peaceful worlds seemed a lot safer. And I started me. building and doing some stuff that, well, frankly, I haven't seen anybody else do the stuff that I was doing back then. Uh, I was not influenced at all by YouTube. I didn't even realize that there were tutorials on YouTube about um, Minecraft. I didn't know anything about that. I was using YouTube for a whole other purpose. I was listening to people speaking live about topics and so on. Um, sort of like blogs, but they were topic-oriented channels. And I didn't know that I didn't know anything about gaming channels at all because I'm not a gamer. I'm just going to flat out say it. I'm not a gamer. Uh, so I started in creative doing some stuff and it wasn't like any of the stuff I really see um, from YouTubers and um, even map makers. Uh, there's a, hmm, they influence each other in the way things are built and I'm mostly influenced by real life architecture and cultures and things that I've studied in real life. And one of the things with which I'm not very familiar, but I may have studied as much as anything else I ever have studied in my life, is uh, Native American culture on the North American continent. Primarily on the North American continent, a little bit in Central America as well. Uh, when I found 
YouTube videos, it was because I had stopped playing this game because it was causing me real psychological distress and real physical pain. And I had taken it off my computer and stopped playing. A lot of you know this stuff already, but some people that might see this video do not. I had taken it off my computer and I had stopped playing and I had become very, very ill. Um, psychologically distressed and um, in some real danger to myself because of trying to play this game without knowing that there were things I could modify to make it easier to play, for instance, like take, turning the view, bobbing changing off. my field of view. Um, I was playing primarily in Peaceful because in Peaceful I could control when I interacted with mobs that part was fine so if i came across a dungeon spawner i would build it into a trap and then allow myself to be in easy mode so i could collect the drops but i was real uncomfortable i was real uncomfortable with the game at the same time however i don't allow my ptsd to control me i never have been one to do I've that. never been one to let my PTSD control me. I find ways of um, problem solving it and controlling it. This is looking familiar, but I could be just hopeful. No I'll wait. follow this for a while and see what happens. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Now we're where I want to be. Okay, so this is the village I was building. Uh, all of this was done in survival, by the way. I am no longer going to be playing this map in survival. This was a pixel art that I used Spritecraft to build for um, um, LGBT History Month in June one year. So I went for about six months without Minecraft. Um, I was no longer in association with the people that I had been. Um, the woman who bought it for me and the people, the people servers that I had been playing on. Um, they were not supportive of my struggle and how hard it was for me. Instead of being concerned about um, why I couldn't adapt to the game and what I might be able to do with the game to adapt the game to me, they just laughed at me or said, it's just a game, or um, they weren't supportive in ways that I needed them to be. This is my Pueblo build. I covered up the swamp over there. I want to make a pixel art of uh, something Native American. I'm going to have to put house slabs on top to keep the snow off, aren't I? Uh, this is a Pueblo build. Pueblo means little town or village or people in Spanish. There are lots of Pueblo settlements out here. I won't take you on a tour of it. It's on my, um, it's on my channel. Let's build a Pueblo. Uh, so I started building this little Pueblo based on real Pueblo architecture. This is the Kiva. Um, Anglo anthropologists and stuff don't know exactly what Kivas are used for, and there's a lot of misinformation. And frankly, the Pueblo people would rather keep it um, on the QT because there's been so much cultural appropriation, so much uh, Native American stuff has been stolen that things about spirituality and society and culture, they would like to keep to themselves and not share. This was the fire pit and this is put here to deflect the smoke away from where the ladder goes and there's a place where the smoke goes up but I can't remember where. So this is based on real architecture, okay, of a, of a kiva, of a real Pueblo kiva, but I decorated it up and added paintings. There would be art on the walls and so on, but I added what I added, you know. This, I hope this isn't cultural appro appropriation. I hope that what I'm doing is um, showing people um, what Native American architecture might look like in Minecraft. You've got to remember these are not just historical artifacts. These are places where people are living now. Um, the floor is going to look a little funny because of this texture pack. It looks different in default, of course. But in order to navigate this quickly and well, I'm going to have to use this 8-bit texture pack or I won't have any frames at all. Um, these chickens get in these cauldrons by themselves and I put name tags on them and call them soup. 
Um, here is a chili ristra. Chilies are dried in the sun. They turn red. They're hung in strings. Um, so yeah, this is my Pueblo. Whoops. That, it's all built in survival now. Don't. It's not. Nothing is MC edit or. I didn't even build any of this in creative. It's all dug out by hand. I worked on this for a very long time, and I think I broadcast at least one video a week, probably more. Again, if I were in a default texture pack, this would make more sense. This is nether brick. The only way I can see the nether, because they've made the gamma so dark that even adjusting the gamma in your text files doesn't help, I've had to retexture um, the nether so that I can see it. I couldn't see fortresses at all, at all. Um, here's where I was starting to build a college. This is way before I got involved in Zuma's XPD server, and I was going to try to build. There's an, the Navajo have a community college in Crown Point, um, New Mexico, um, that does really innovative stuff with sustainability and architecture and um, solar, and it's a two-year college. It's like a, you know, those vocational colleges. They're called because I guess people don't have any expectation that brown people will actually go to university. But hey, you know, they've done a lot with it that no, they're not just being taught how to sew and cook and do landscaping and, you know, menial chores. They're actually learning tech work and stuff that will improve the nation and the reservation. And it's a real innovative college. And I would love to go out there and visit it sometime. So since the day I got, I, I took the game off for six months, and when I put it back on, I started, I decided I had to learn this game, so that it wouldn't own me, but I would own the game. And what I did was start looking for Minecraft tutorials on YouTube, and I discovered Paul Source Jr. And I learned all the basics. Pumpkins, as far as you can see, I use them all the time. See how much easier it is to see this than torches. And they're directional. Oh, yes, please. This is a little um, going out in the middle of the night hunt cooties shelter. This is my spawn base. Uh, be careful using things like cactus fortification. Wild animals get caught in them and die. They can't navigate them well at all. Um... This is, uh, oh, I should show you where I spawned in, in this world. Where, no, that's the barn. My beginning house is down here. These were my trophy blocks when I would collect something, um, and I could finally make a block of it. I would put them on the front porch. Um, yeah, I would like to show you this in default. You see this, um, what's that called, birch log right there? That is my original spawn point right there. I always do that. Another thing that I always do is my first wooden pickaxe. I believe it's hanging inside here. Um, it says, no solicitors, missionar missionaries, or creepers. I think when you go in here, oh god, navigating doors. This game never knows where I am. Yeah, there's my first pickaxe. Bienvenidos a Casa Granny Gamer. That means welcome to Granny Gamer's house. Ooh, nothing fancy. Did I have horses? No, I had a cow with a Porsche. That's right. For some reason. So I started watching Minecraft tutorials. I didn't really care about Let's Ended Play. I'm so very on. disappointed very quickly at not the quality of the content, but the quality of uh, the I've discussion. I've since also found how elitist and uh, exclusionary some professional Minecraft YouTubers can be, and how um, startled by differences they are, and how um, reactionary they are toward people with differences. Not not all of them, but there's a lot of that influence in um, Minecraft YouTube gaming that's really disappointing to me, and it I think it teaches messages that aren't very healthy to kids about um, women and LGBT people and people of color and and these are all people that you don't see well represented in Minecraft YouTube and in Minecraft itself and at that point is when I decided to start the channel and spawn right there and start building a world to show I had a couple of friends who had just bought Minecraft 
and they did not know how to play it. And while I wasn't very good at it, I did know the basics. So I wanted to show them just a little bit about what Minecraft can do. So I started a little Let's Play tutorial myself for my friends. And then people discovered my channel and started hanging out. Uh, it's been very rocky. Uh, I've been... Uh, it's real easy to block people in the modern internet age. And people will block rather than saying, what did you mean by that? So I have been blocked by some people that um, don't understand what I'm about. I made a little pee, pee chicken face on them. See? little eye and a little beak and... Uh oh, I didn't mean to do that. I should cue. See, it's a little eye and a little beak and a little mouth. Like little baby chicks are peeping inside the egg. But they need to be not transparent because the whole point of retexturing them was to make them more visible. Now, since the day I started with Minecraft, pretty much, way back in the old days before jungles, I saw the geometry of this. I think I want to go up over this instead of under it. And if you're familiar with some Native American styles of art and architecture, it's very geometric. Um, a lot of Navajo and Pueblo stuff is built on geometric grids. You could just about... See, I know how to do quilting and I know how to do um, needlepoint, which is you take a grid, you, you take a piece of graph paper, you decide your pattern on the graph paper, and then you implement it by sewing stitches um, or by blocking together pieces of fabric to make quilts. It's a very... Minecraft is very familiar to me because of feminine arts. I call them that loosely, but they've been assigned to a particular gender. I often think that maybe women have been pretty good innovators in geometry because of quilt making and so on, without any formal education in mathematics at all. This is my windmill. I wanted it to be a real paddle wheel that could actually scoop water and go around and um, operate the turbine. It's a sawmill. So it would actually operate a saw. This is the uh, uh, Jemez Pueblo people come here. Uh, Jemez Pueblo people use a lot of, it's called ponderosa pine, very tall pine trees um, in their construction. And the wood is um, exported all over the desert southwest and has become a real big deal art form. Down here is the saw. I don't know how much of the saw is left. Some partially cut up logs. Yeah, this is the saw. I made it out of wood with the... Uh, this is iron bars. I retextured them so I can see them. Iron bar saw blade. Uh, so since day one, I wanted to make something having to do with Native America. I also wanted... I'm scrupulous about this. I do not want to appropriate the culture of Native America. I want to attempt to try to represented in Minecraft like my point with the Pueblo build and this out here is if native people lived in Minecraft how would they build their buildings based on what I know about Native Americans okay um, this isn't about oh I'm gonna build a teepee and be real famous um, because I were a I, I um, appropriated a Native American headdress and wore it as my player skin. I'm not. No, no, no. No, we're not going to do that at all. Here's the galley. This is the um, sawmill. They come out in the warmer weather to um, mill the wood and uh, they bring their families. So here's the kitchen. All community. People break down into different um, tasks and decide who's going to do what based on their skills and affinities. They bring their families here for the summer and um, work on the sawmill. And they have to mine, of course, to get resources they need to be able to do the work they do. Uh, so this leads back over to the sawmill. Um, so this is living space and other stuff. Uh, so, yeah, they're divided up by... People live in the areas where they're going to be doing the particular tasks. Um, and it's, I'm pretending that there's a family tradition of, you know, specializing in certain parts. Um, 
because I can say that even though I don't know if that is traditional. I do know that Native Americans do specialize to some extent in tasks and um, traditions, but this is specific to Minecraft. So I don't want to appropriate Native American culture. I do want to um, discuss Native American culture in terms of Minecraft. I'm going to bring villagers in here. I'm trying to make it safe for villagers to live here without being rampaged by others. Uh, rooms that I'm building and adding for living space and so on. <sighs> and it's always been a dream of mine to make a world that other people could come to. I didn't know how to use MC Edit. I didn't know how to download schematics and upload them onto Planet Minecraft. I didn't know how to do any of this. But in my mind, and to me it was all magic, you know, the computer gurus knew how to do this. And my lowly self, you know, I, I mean, I was an adult when Pong came out, okay? Growing up with um, computers and being familiar with gaming and so on is not me. It's not me. Here's a little childcare area with a sandbox and a jungle gym and a play table and see. So it's always been a dream of mine to build a map um, to introduce I guess non-native people because Almost exclusively, what I see on Minecraft is non-native people playing. Um, I would like to introduce non-native people to some of where I live in New Mexico, you know, and the desert southwest and the people who've been here for tens of thousands of years. Um, also, now this was a dream that I didn't think I could do until just recently. I'm not going to cry. When I met Immersive Mind, and we talked about it in one of his live streams on Bean. Um, Immersive Mind is building a map of Leeds. It's, a, it's for an archaeological build where this is up here to keep the trees from getting too large to farm. Oh, good. My dogs are still alive. Um, and what they're doing is they're building a, um, they're using a topographical map off of Google and their, uh, of the city of the town of Leeds and converting it into Minecraft with some with some programs is not hard to do I mean it's painful and it can be really intensive on your computer if you're not very conservative with how large you want the map to be and how much detail and how much geography you want to cover but I can keep these relatively small um, and then they're burying an old Roman ruin where it actually exists in Leeds and then on the given day, the, the real life architect, uh, excuse me, archaeologists are going to dig up that Roman ruin, and kids on Minecraft will be on a server digging up a replica of it on a Minecraft map. I don't want this map to be just historical artifacts. A lot of people are under the impression that. Native Americans no longer exist. In fact, that's sort of the stereotype about Native Americans, that they have something to do with the past, and there are real Native Americans all over this continent. Well, they're a diaspora. They're not only all over the continent, they're all over the world, doing really innovative and interesting things under, uh, under amazingly challenging circumstances of um, genocide and poverty and um, exclusion. Uh, some have been luckier than others. So know? I'm interested in doing some of the archaeological stuff, but I'm really interested in contemporary communities and what people are doing in Native America. I'm also really interested in Native Americans participating in Minecraft, particularly in schools. I would really love there to be a Minecraft EDU movement um, for Native American kids. I build, I always do this, I build a little base underground. Yeah, how do I get back in it? Because now I'm stuck. Hello. Oh, through the trees. I mean, through the pillars. Um, I want Minecraft EDU to be on the re reservations, the reserves, and the nations of Native America. Um, 
I think it would be transformational. Um, a chance for these kids to um, experience tech stuff in a way that it's easy to participate, which is why Minecraft EDU is so brilliant, because it's not like when when we were studying computing when I was a kid, which was in the 1960s, we were learning stuff like how binary thinking and binary mathematics works and the real rudiments of Boolean logic and stuff like that, but it, there was no follow through and there was no urgent need for it because let's face it, most of the computers were owned by Oh, you know, like IBM and stuff like that. They were huge and they took up warehouses full of space and we were never going to have access to them. Not really. It wasn't realistic to expect it. Any but just a very few of us would have access to Racism them. teaches kids with dark skin that their best option is to be a gas station attendant, an auto mechanic, a soldier. A prisoner, um, a waitress, don't set your sights too high. And I'm talking about, well, I guess you could say this for any person of color. We're talking about people with very rich cultural traditions that have held on to them as hard as they could, as long as they could, in spite of boarding schools that forced them to learn English and give up their, there it is, and forced them to give up their cultural traditions to the point where when they got sent home from boarding schools, um, their own people didn't recognize them, didn't know how to communicate with them anymore because they'd been so anglicized. The actual government policy in the United States was kill the Indian to save the man, meaning take away anything Indian-ish, Native American-ish, about these children and save their souls, but their souls weren't lost. Um, so I want to see... I want to see kids on the res playing Minecraft, man. I want to see their redstone contraptions and their architecture, and I want to see um, skinwalkers. Look it up. I want to see um, I want to see native kids learning what I've learned just off the seat of my pants um, about computing and quantum computing and um, the future. The future. Interactive digital when technology. When I look up Minecraft, Native American, all I see is hokey, uh, pretendian, that's what we call them, pretendian, um, like Minecraft skins with buckskins and fake head This dresses. game is for all kids, whether Notch knew it or not. It's for all people, whether Notch knew it or not. Minecraft needs to be larger there's enough room for everybody there's no wrong way to play as flawed as it will probably be i want to make this map to let non-native people know how important native culture is and how um fragile it is and how overwhelmed and endangered it is. I don't know anything about map making. I don't even play maps very much because I have such bad upload speed and the game is so laggy for me that it's always been a problem to even play the game, especially recording it. Oh yeah, my ravine. So, um, I haven't played many maps. But recently, as a result of becoming familiar with Adam Clark, who is, I guess you'd say, an evangelist for um, Minecraft in education, I've met a lot of people who are real innovative in Minecraft map making. I way too far. have to say that building this project is a need for me. And if I don't attempt it, even if it's an abysmal failure and everybody hates it, if I don't attempt it, um, 
I have betrayed something that I really need to do. So I'm going to build things here. I have to craft. try. I'm not saying I'll do it well. It's a massive responsibility on, on a number of accounts. Um, primarily, um, my integrity toward Native American people. I'm woefully ignorant. Um, I'm one of the best informed people I know, and I know how woefully ignorant I am. Uh, I don't feel that I'm adequate to the job, and I would much rather that Native students do this themselves. So I guess what I'm saying is that I'm building um, a prototype, a starting point of an example of this is my inadequate offering. Native students, would you please consider building in Minecraft and learning Minecraft and representing yourselves in Minecraft because you have so much to offer that the rest of Minecraft hasn't even thought of yet. So this is a sampler to non-native people about a huge wealth if you handle it respectfully not with teepees and totem poles and war bonnets that you don't understand and are disrespecting by misrepresenting not not like that but there's a huge wealth of beauty and poignancy and pain about Native American culture that you don't even begin to understand its potential in this game and I see its potential I don't know if I can oh, I can't find my way down I can't even find my way down how am I going to represent Native culture um, I may be inadequate to the task uh, that's no lie that's a given and I'm not just saying that to um, give myself room to slack and you know not give it my best that's not even a consideration to me I have to give this my best because it's so important to me um, but here's a sampler this is some stuff you don't know about Native American people that if you really listen it will blow your mind now my ancestry is Cherokee and I know hardly anything about my people um, and I don't live in the geographical area I never have I mean I lived in Kentucky for a little while but um, I wasn't around native people and let's face it since the Trail of Tears they pretty much got forced out of there and haven't been living in their ancestral homes for a very long time and have been forced to live I don't know which way I'm supposed to go I guess not that way this is a fortress they've been forced to live in Oklahoma and so on since the Trail of Tears where they had to walk thousands of miles in the I don't know where I'm going uh, thousands of miles in the winter where thousands of them died it decimated the population so they're not even most of them living on their ancestral lands our people are but there's a portal here somewhere so I don't have connection to my own ancestry a lot of native people don't it's you know I don't even really refer to myself as native I refer to myself as mixed race. so I don't know I don't know my people I have friends out here um, some of them university professors and social activists and artists and online friends we don't I don't live near anybody really where I am right now where I'm stranded but I'm a little more familiar with the area and the culture in which I'm living right now than I am with my own people I have a lot of land out here and this was my experimental area I found this desert just by flying around and um, it has really nice I guess you'd call them extreme hilly looking sort of so my motive doodle. here is to learn the component parts toward building a map I assume that the map is going to evolve itself as I build it 
I have a few basic components in mind. Go look up Chaco Canyon and Pueblo Bonito. It's very easy for me to get architectural blueprints of that so that I can reproduce them in Minecraft using a few programs whose names I don't remember off the top of my head because I just learned them from um, um, Adam Clark and I'll as I use them I'll obviously I have a Facebook them. page there's a Granny Gamer Facebook group um, I'm collecting documents on how there. I'm going to build the documents include links to oh for example MC edit um, world editor things like so that. So there's a lot of links on documents and a lot of my um, thought sketches and ideas just marked on notes and so on. I'll try to remember to link the um, thing for the Facebook group in this video. I don't know if you're interested in um, Facebook or not but if you are and if you have a mind please join the Facebook group because I'm devoting it it's news for people who play Minecraft and who are interested in my YouTube channel. Yes, but my YouTube channel isn't about profit and stuff. My YouTube channel is about um, exploring the game. Um, my, my channel is not monetized. Um, but it's a good way for us to um, share ideas without me cluttering up the Reddit with a bunch of uh, really remedial questions that... I don't even know how to dig through all the archives of Reddit to find answers. Um, uh, so it would be specific to what it is I need to learn. And any ideas you have to share, please. Please. I want to build this map. I don't want to be disrespectful or rude to native people. But I do want to build this map. So I have so much to learn. Um, not only about map making but about the people I'm um, depicting in Minecraft so that I can do it in ways that are not insulting or ugly or prejudiced or small minded or perpetrating racism without even meaning to if you have energy to help me I'm going to be building things in this and world. And you're welcome. You're more than welcome. I'm actually begging for people to help. Because I want to do it right. I want to do it well. I want to do it in a way that it's entertaining and fun and amusing and... Well, this is odd. <sighs> so that's my dream. I don't know if I can do it well. I want to. I'm a pretty thorough and responsible and resourceful person. And if I don't know how to do it, I will learn. I want to do this well. I want it to be fun. I want people to... I want people's lives to be better because they were here. I don't mean I want to save the world, but... <laughs> wouldn't mind if things improved a little because I was here and did this. So you see, know? now I can see the nether. I also set my gamma back up to a thousand, which is problematic because there's no shadows in caves when I'm playing regular survival. And I don't like that at all because I really, really want to be able to see um, if, if I'm in danger because the lighting is too low. And I can't do that with my gamma set this high. But I have to have my gamma set this high in order to record the nether and in order to see the nether and other places See, it's as so well. much easier to see. Look at this. If you'd like to contribute or make suggestions or offer advice, um, I'm here. And I need Please you. don't be abusive. There's too much of that in my life already. Noobcraft. Wow. This is where I started my YouTube channel. Not that being on YouTube is a big deal, because it isn't. Um, see, I thought YouTube was people that wanted to share things with people, not people who wanted to be celebrities and stars. And boy, it'll wake you up. 
um, some people want to be celebrities and stars. Other people want to share information and collaborate and learn and teach. And I'm one of those boring old people that thinks Minecraft is a brilliant way to make young minds flexible and bright and full of wonder. I love this game. I love what it can teach kids. I don't have um, a grant. I don't even have a decent computer. I can't stream on Twitch and ask people's advice because I don't have the right kind of DirectX. I have DirectX 11 and OBS takes DirectX 10. So frustrating. Um, I have really bad upload speed so the game is always laggy. Um, I don't have anything. I don't even have running water or sewage where I live. But I am so compelled to make this map. I'm supposed to make this map. I wanted to do it since I first got Minecraft. If you want to help me learn how to do the um, mechanics of this so that I can do a good job, I have to do this with respect and with honor the people who have been humiliated and degraded and murdered and had everything stolen from them including their language and their customs it's a um, terrifying task that I've given myself but it's been something I've needed to do since I got this game and I would appreciate hearing from any of you who have the patience to um, assist me so that I do as good a job as I can. Thanks for watching. I'd hug you. I knew I'd break something. <laughs> I broke a chest full of rocks. Let's see, what was that? I hug you. There it is. I broke a whole chest full of stuff. <laughs> I'd hug you. But my arms don't <laughs> Bye! Yes, sir. Nope. Yes, ma'am. I will kill you. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and adopt. Get it!